Well, new tonight, we are hearing from Olean police about another clue in a decades old missing persons cold case. Channel 2's Heather Lee tells us what is the next step in the investigation. The captain said the letter isn't necessarily earth shattering. It contains some information that they knew previously, but important nonetheless. And they're hoping that by releasing information about this, more people will come forward. The detectives who originally worked on this missing person investigation involving 26 year old Josephine Despard are long retired, but the department has never given up on this cold case. You know, over the years, the family may have given up hope on, on us, but we really never had anything solid to go on. So uh, in my mind, I take it personally, I'd like to to solve this case. Police got another clue on the 34 year anniversary of Josephine's disappearance. A one page handwritten letter was postmarked in Buffalo, but had no name or return address. Did the letter give you any information that you did not know previously? Not really. Um, it threw out some names that we suspected. Um, it is leading, so I, I mean, that's, that's kind of, it, it makes me curious, you know, to know. I'd like there to be four more pages to the letter so I could, you know, get more information. Josephine was last seen at the Olean Mall on February 7th, 1984. She was with a man from Franklinville. He committed suicide months after Josephine's disappearance. Police never publicly released his name. Was that name in this letter? Yes. There is incriminating that. that person. I'd say there being involvement. Yes, you know, maybe that person had something to do with her disappearance. Police also said the anonymous letter gave a location. They would only say it is in New York, not far from Olean, and described it as a vast residential area with nearby wooded areas. It gives a location of, of where things may have gone bad. We need to go go there and find out, look at it and see exactly where it is, if we can identify the right spot. Does the letter give you any reason to believe that she may still be alive? We've had sightings that have always been followed up on, uh, but no, we're, we're not thinking that she is alive right now. Police say since they've released information about this letter, they've heard from five or six other people who have some sort of details to offer up, and they say no information is too small to help try and solve this case even 34 years later. In Olean, Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.